whenever people hear that you are studying Chinese, the first response would be a very short one. Ah. Wow, Chinese! Isn't it very hard? I guess we see the dwindling lah, in the Chinese standards. And then you'll start to wonder like, what would it be like for our children next time? I'm Mark, and I just graduated from NTU, School of Humanities, Chinese course. Back then, the government started to value English education. And then Singapore envisioned itself to become like a STEM nation. People start to view like not doing well for Chinese as a normal seat. It is okay to just pass, at least I pass. From many of my conversations with teens nowadays, they feel like Chinese is starting to become very obsolete. Why am I even learning Chinese? It's not like every day that you will get to use the how si hao chi that you learn in secondary school. You wouldn't just like insert it's how pay se yao shi nian pa jing shen in your conversation with your friends, right? My first choice was actually sports science in NTU. Much like many of my peers, I hope like after O levels, I wouldn't ever be dealing with Chinese ever. However, the strange thing that happened was that the university actually considered my O level Chinese grade and offered me Chinese. From what I gathered, when I came in as a freshman, there were actually half of the students who were here because they had no choice. First semester, I turned up for this exam and my friends asked me, la, hey bro, are you okay or not? You know your face looked like you wanted to transfer out of Chinese. Yeah, my number one goal was to go for exchange in China. I wasn't particularly proficient. I was very interested in China as a country when you are in an environment that solely speaks Chinese. It really forces you to step out of your comfort zone. I definitely got a lot more comfortable with expressing myself, expressing my thoughts in Chinese. In university, they provide you with more opportunity to be exposed to the historical background, cultural background. And then through the artwork, you can really appreciate the spirit of the writer in it. And this is something I feel like you don't really see when you are learning Chinese earlier on. When you come into Chinese, you get bombarded with like all these stereotypes. But I feel like there is value lah in nurturing. Teachers are more focused on gearing them for exams such that they miss out on highlighting the beauty la, of the language itself. If I were to look back, teachers that really left an impression on me are those who teach you about moral values or like make lessons worth looking forward to. I have this professor who will sing for us every lecture. That was uh, pretty memorable, la, especially because he was teaching something very dry. It's really about the rapport that you can establish with your students to cut down the distance between them and Chinese, not to feel like Chinese is something very difficult, and then slowly their attitude towards this subject will improve over time. <laughs>